understand points as we continue to trail the aftermath of the NSAS protests and other happenings in Nigeria. We are calling for peace and we are also urging the police to return to the streets of Lagos State and other parts of Nigeria. But first of all, the Nigerian army has actually admitted finally that they were at the Lekki Toll Plaza. The army had previously maintained that its troops were not at the site of the shooting, but Tuesday night, a military spokesman, Major Oshoba Alani, reversed that position, saying soldiers had been deployed there to enforce a curfew imposed by the Lagos state governor, Babajide Samwonlu. However, he denied that the troops shot at the protesters. In the meantime, a judicial panel has begun investigating the shooting, and the panel is also investigating allegations of abuse against the police unit, the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, also known as SARS. According to reports, the federal, Lagos, and Oyo state governments have received no fewer than 126 petitions on human rights violations by the Special Anti-Robbery Squad of the Nigerian Police Force. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, had however come under fire over continued attacks by looters on government and private establishments with futile efforts by the police to stop them. Also, contrary to the IG's directive last week, the, uh, the police had yet to fully return to the streets of Abuja and Lagos state six days after the NSAS protests ended. And Nigerians are asking this question, have they been abandoned by the police? The policing that you had before was two percent. In technology, they were down. In motivation, they were down. In support from the public, public trust, it was difficult. It's been managed. And then um, correlative logistics deployment was a major, most of the vehicles were dilapidated. Another question is, would there have been so much widespread destruction and looting if there had been adequate police presence on the streets of Lagos states and other parts of Nigeria? Where do we go from here? All police officers, even the ones that were good, we did not care about that. We are targeting the bad ones and we destroyed the good ones. I want to say that we don't have enough policing. I want to say that we have further destroyed the policing that we have. And I want to say that everyone, everywhere you are, start to show love because the police have started to discipline and arrest the criminal police officer. Well, as hoodlums continue to take advantage of the lack of security to extort people on the streets and rob unsuspecting members of the public of their valuables, it is important to state that having adequate police presence on the streets will help restore sanity in the various states. We all have the duty to ensure that the police are also safe and they are not objects or targets of revenge. Remember, revenge is not the same as justice and arson or destruction of property is not the same as activism. That is it's on the standpoint. I'm Itohan Olomo Agbado.